Good morning, has -beens. This is day eight, officially into the second week. I'm trying a new camera angle here in the car so that I don't look quite so menacing. Pro tip of the day, uh, if you're feeling sluggish, if you're feeling fat, if you're feeling overweight, if you're feeling obese and you're running at the gym and you want to take a little medicine to cure that symptom, all you have to do is wear a shirt that's about a size too big because you will look over at yourself in the mirror and you will see that shirt flopping around and you will say, holy crap, I'm incredibly thin. I look amazing and just completely ignore the tag. Don't pay any attention to it whatsoever. So day eight, thank you for the feedback on the GPSs yesterday. I did manage to uh, get a little bit of shopping in, have not selected one yet, but uh, feedback from friends is a blessing and a curse because I thought I had my mind made up and now I totally don't. So uh, in a way I'm sort of thanking this bad weather because it's allowing me to de delay this decision a little bit longer. Uh, day eight, um, day eight, day eight, day eight. So same as yesterday, 30 minutes, but it went a little bit longer, 2.83. Um, getting up in the mornings is, is leveling off. It's about the same level of difficulty so far, but getting the blood flowing, getting moving, warming up. I'm not running quite so slow for quite so long. So my body seems to be starting to acclimate, at least the general trend, you can tell by the mileage, right? I think I was uh, 2.78 on Monday, excuse me, 2.8 yesterday and 2.83 today. So um, obviously that's gonna have to stop, you know, that trend up is gonna have to stop at a certain point, but um, as long as the effort stays correct. The other thing is that um, <clears throat> conditions in the gym are even drier now than they were a week ago, that I can tell you for sure. And I keep forgetting to turn the fan on, which um, gives me some some warm weather training. And yet I'm still managing to um, to perform and feel right. And both both are important. You got to perform well and you got to feel good too. So uh, both of those are still trending up. So that's a good thing. I want to talk today about motivation a little bit, very briefly, because we don't have a lot of time. You know, a lot of people, when they get into a resolution or whatever, they lose sight of their why. And, you know, for a lot of people, I think that that's why they fail. They, they see where they want to go, right? Whether that be weight loss, job promotion, uh, whatever. And they get into the thick of things, so to speak. They get deep into the woods and they take their eye off the ball. They take their eye off the target. They start looking at their feet, looking around, looking at the people next to them that are pulling ahead of them, um, the people that are falling behind. And they're not, pay attention, they're not paying attention to the finish line. They're not paying attention to where they wanna go. And I've achieved a couple significant long-term goals in running, uh, whether it be winning a state championship with my high school team, or qualifying for the national meet in college. And I can tell you that these were not goals that started the week before the qualifier or the month before the qualifier. And in most instances, the year before the qualifier. I remember thinking about winning a state championship my freshman year, and it didn't happen until senior year in high school, thanks to some really, really, really good competition in New York State. Um, and the same thing in college. We didn't qualify until my junior year. And I had that idea in my head. I mean, at the training camp, weeks before the season started freshman year, I was asking my coach about how you qualify for the National League uh, in cross country and track and field in college because I didn't know. <clears throat> so, you know, uh, it's important to track trends and to realize that this is not just a, a linear, you know, you're not, it's not just, you're not just always going to be climbing um, and to always check the trend line and to make sure that the trend line, no matter how flat or shallow it might be, make sure that that trend line is continuing up. And, and for me, that helps keep me motivated. It helps keep me going, even though I might be dealing with a minor injury 
or I might be, I might have a series of runs in which I'm not feeling good or a series of bad workouts or God forbid, uh, certainly not this month, but I might end up missing a workout or calling one early. You know, anytime you have any sort of running related setback, it's important to stop, take a look back, you know, review what you've done, check the trend line. And if the trend line, you know, isn't moving the way that you want it to go, then, you know, it's your body telling you you need to make adjustments. And if it is, then, you know, if it is going the way that you want it to go, or it has been trending over the last month or two or three or six, then, you know, it's, it's, it's really you sort of telling your future self through your logs, through your data, that everything's going to be okay and that you're all right and that this is just a minor little bump and that you really shouldn't let it, you really shouldn't let it get you down. So tracking your progress and looking at the big picture are really the two big takeaways for staying motivated long term. And when you're a weekend, it's really, really easy to see that shining city on a hill and to know that you're, uh, uh, you know, there's a long way to go to get there, but you know that you're going to make pretty significant progress pretty quickly already, right? Just day over day over day. I'm running, I'm running a little bit further. So it's very easy to track that data. But going forward, I know that there's going to be a time when the trend line is going to start to flatten out a little bit. The faster you get, the harder it is to improve. And just keeping your eye on the ball, remembering where you were and how much closer you are to where you want to go. That's, that's really going to help in the long term. And of course, having friends. So thank you for coming along with me on this journey, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Hope your running is going very well. And uh, comment below and tell me what keeps you motivated. Um, what are you thinking about on those tough mornings when you stayed up until midnight and you had to get up at 5 a.m. or when the weather's really difficult or when it's really late at night and you really don't want to get out um, and yet you force yourself out there anyways? What is it that's keeping you going? Until then, I will see you guys tomorrow.